I'm Sydney Galpern, cake decorator, chocolatier, international instructor, and sugar addict. I started this crazy business and it led to teaching all over the world, and I made my parents quit their jobs to come work full time for me. We don't always agree, but when it comes down to it, our life is pretty sweet. We're going to recreate some of our favorite travel memories in extravagant cakes and sugar masterpieces. This week we're headed out to the West Coast, San Diego to be exact. Our awesome friend and San Diego native Tammy has offered to show us the sights. How did you get over there? I asked you guys on social media what the best beaches are in San Diego. Louise said that I have to check out the seals at La Jolla Cove. So we set out in search of sun, sand, and maybe even a few mermaids. Wait, is that one there? Oh my god, I didn't even see them. I thought they were rocks. <laughs> the beach here is absolutely beautiful, and playing around in the sand has got me thinking. If there are mermaids here, where would they live? Suddenly, I got the idea to create a giant sandcastle cake. I'll get to work on a delicious sea salted caramel recipe. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Dad, what? you Direct can't it. rattle change. Okay. Now, time for a workout. Let's roll some fondant. I'm using a sugar-free hard candy called Isomalt. It's fast and easy, just melt and go. This sculpture mat makes the whole castle so easy. I just have to pour the Isomalt into the shapes. Oops. A hot knife slices right through the sugar so I can have any size tower I want. Anytime I get to play with fire, it's my favorite part. Let's put these towers together. I'm using fondant and powdered food color to make realistic edible seashells. And now the moment I have been waiting for, adding sand. I think I'm gonna need a step stool. Dad! First, we're covering the whole thing with edible gold mixed with corn syrup so that the brown sugar will stick. Now, we're getting messy. This will truly make it a real sand castle. Don't tell my mom I said this, but it's really no fun unless you're making a mess. Oh, it looks like the beach. It does! I'm pulling the isomalt like taffy to create a clay. I use this to sculpt the iron gate and the crashing waves all around the bottom. Airbrushing and adding the fine details brings this whole castle to life. If I were a mermaid, this is where I'd want to live. I didn't find any mermaids this time, but I had a blast in California and I can't wait to explore more of San Diego in the future. See you on the road. <laughs>